Hi, I'm Jonathan Roberts. When you're teaching online, inevitably there are going to be some times where you'll want multiple camera angles. And it's really easy with Zoom if you know what to do. So this is just a quick walkthrough on how to set that up. For this example, I'm going to be using my laptop computer. And you can't really see it in the camera, but I have a microphone stand with a webcam up top so to have an overview of the keyboard. To my left hand side I have a tripod with an adaptable clamp that very easily allows me to put my phone right in. It also fits an iPad. I'll include a link to this particular tripod in the description below, although I'm pretty sure it's back ordered until at least June if not longer. And I'll also be using my iPad. So let's go ahead and set up a multi-camera zoom lesson. So for this to work, you'll need an account that allows for multiple users. Essentially what we're going to do is log in each device as a separate user, even though all of those users are me. And we're just going to use it to provide different camera angles for the other user, which is going to be the student. So uh, to start, we're just going to open a new Zoom meeting. New meeting. And here I am. Now with my setup, since I have my keyboard camera connected to the computer, I can just go to meeting and hit switch camera when I want to switch from the face to face to the overhead. And I have a lighting kit that helps out with this shadow right here. I'm recording this at night. For now, I'll just switch back. And next I'm going to log in with my phone. And the easiest way to do this is to just go ahead into the Zoom app on your phone. It's going to ask for a meeting ID at the top. And you'll find that by going to Participants and then click Invite. There may be a faster way, but this is the easiest way I've found so far. And that meeting ID is going to be right here at the top. So I'm just going to type that in on my phone. It's like 931-833-62063. I want to hit Join. And then it's going to ask if uh, it's going to ask about the audio options. Very important here. Go ahead and click cancel on that because if you join the audio, it creates this pretty obnoxious feedback loop. And then you have to hit mute and lower the volume button, and it's just kind of a mess. It's much easier to just click cancel and just get video. So this looks, looks a, a little trippy right now because right now you're getting th about three of me, I think. So now I'm technically two users in here. So I've got my phone that's one, and then I've got my computer that's another. So I'm going to take the phone and I'm going to put it on my tripod clamp right here. And now I have my side view set up. And eventually up here, again, your, your student will be one of these boxes. So eventually there are going to be three or four users, but it's just you and the, you and the, the other users that are your, your other devices and your student. So now I basically have three cameras I can use. I have my face-to-face, -face, I have my overhead keyboard, and I have the side view. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my iPad and get a view of the pedals. So I'll do the exact same thing that I did on my phone. Um, just going to tap join. Again, it asks for that meeting ID. I have already forgotten that meeting ID number, so I'm just going to pull that up again. And that is 931-833-62063. And again, it's asking me, about the audio, I'm going to just hit cancel. So now there are three of me. And what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to put it on the floor to provide a pedal view. I don't use this one very much, but it's nice to have it as an option for those occasions. Might need to fool with the placement a little bit. Let's see how I did there. I think I did okay. Can probably be a little bit, a little bit better. Okay, so now I have. Uh, three, potentially four different angles. So I have my face-to-face, -face, I've got my keyboard camera that I can switch to, I have the side view, and now I have a pedal view. And there are a few ways you can use this on your end. If you tap gallery view, you can see everything equally. So I can see my pedal, I can see the side view, I've got my face-to-face, -face, or my overhead camera. 
or if you go into speaker view, you'll have to advise your student of all of this, by the way. If you want to highlight a particular camera, because in speaker view, basically whichever user is speaking or sound is coming through, that video will be highlighted. But if you want to bring a particular feed into the spotlight, you just go to the, these top boxes here, click this three dot thing. So say I want to highlight, uh, you know, the pedaling. I'll just click that and I'll go to spotlight video and that'll make that video the front and center. So if I want to do something with my pedaling, and then if I wanted to change to the side view, I would just go over to the um, side view camera and do the same thing. Just tap spotlight video. If I need to show some technique things, and so on and so forth. A really important thing that's easy to miss uh, when you're in the midst of a teaching day, if you use a setup like this, when a lesson is over, let the student leave the room and send a new link to the next student. Because if you leave this meeting, you're going to have to do this entire setup <laughs> all over again. So uh, best thing is to just set it up at the beginning of the day, and then you can just leave it. And when, uh, when you want to cancel the spotlight video, all you need to do is tap that video go to cancel the spotlight video. So as you can see, uh, it's pretty straightforward to set up a multi-camera uh, setup if you know the steps. So hopefully uh, this points you in the right direction. Feel free to put any questions you may have in the comments. And if you found this helpful, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're trying to put out videos daily to help teachers, parents, and students as we weather the virtual universe together. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon.